Hello, Rocky. Good morning. Oh, sorry. I'll avoid your eyes. Yeah. All right, time to go to a show, Rocky. Woohoo! <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is super bright and early. Well, no, sorry, it's very dark and early. Um, I got up at half four this morning because we're going to a show. So the show we are going to... Oh, Rocky, that could be quite loud. So the show we're going to is a combined training event, which means it is dressage and show jumping. And it is in a place called Lang Warren, which is near Melbourne. So it's about two and a half hours driving with a car. So we just allowed myself about three hours to get there. I'm jumping into grade two, which means we're jumping 95 centimeters. Um, and then obviously a dressage test to match that. We've been really practicing our dressage, but I did ride him yesterday and he was just a little bit excited. And our canter wasn't the best yesterday. So we'll see how it goes today. Um, I need to remember that he hasn't done a dressage test in about nine months. So just realistic expectations, I reckon. And yeah, other than that, just go out and have some fun. So today, special guest is Andy, who owns the yard that Rocky's at. And is a really good friend of mine who I met when I first arrived in Australia. And he owned Diva that I used to ride, <laughs> if you guys remember that. Um, she's now sold a quite a while now. But when we go to the show, the reason Andy's coming with me and is sharing the driving is because he is picking up his new horse, um, which is down in the Mornington, which is quite close to where I'm going to the show. So we thought we'd make it just two birds, one stone, one trip and get a show and pick up the new horse, which is really exciting. So that is why Andy's coming. And of course he's gonna help and video and stuff, which is amazing. So yeah, it's good to have some company for the long drive. And yeah, we're gonna share the driving, which is sweet. So yes, I'm gonna load him up now. We're gonna hit the road. Um, I see some lights on the house, so I think Andy must be up. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna load up and hit the road. We are here and I'm so screwed because look how gorgeous this <laughs> these horses are that I'm against. Oh dearie me, that horse is gorgeous. So is this Palomino. <laughs> Poor Rocky. <laughs> We're giving our best shot. <laughs> good boy Rocky, ready to go, looking good. We'll make a dressage horse out of you yes, Rocky. Oh gorgeous boy.
just finished our dressage. Oh, he was good. There were some, obviously some tense moments, but a lot of really nice moments. I need to watch back the video, but I'm actually just so happy with how he felt. And yeah, he was just really relatively calm and happy and listening to me and yeah. I don't think we disgraced ourselves. We're definitely not gonna score super high and like be in the top few placings because it was some really nice horses and you know, like really lovely trained horses and gorgeous riders. So yeah, we just tried our best, but he was really, really good. And he was really calm in the warm up. It's just our downward transitions from canter to trot really caught us out and his left canter wasn't so strong but his right canter was really good all his trot work was really good he walked on a long rein he did a bit of a stretchy trot and his halt at the end was perfect and he halted and he stayed there and immobile and yeah just really happy with him it's our first time doing a dressage test obviously in quite a long time and when we did them last year they were a bit hairy so this is a huge improvement very very happy so I think we have a bit of time before show jumping. So I'm just gonna head down now and see what's going on. Then I have to change his bit because I'm in the snapple for the size, but I have my two ring for the jumping. So fingers crossed that goes well. Top groom. <laughs> Andy painted his feet and brushed him for me and brushed his tail while I was doing the plats. So yeah, this is the show jumping ring over there. This is the warm up. So we'll see what's going on. Very good boy, having some food and some water while we chill out. One thing for him, he is a quiet boy on the ground. <laughs> He's the easiest horse ever. Oh, I need to give you a bit of a brush, don't we? Yeah, good boy. Alrighty, walk in the court for the show jumping. Looks good. Okay, so I'm about to get ready for show jumping. I've got my dressage score. It was 62.8% not bad it's our first time um, doing a grade two test so it's the hardest one we've done we are unfortunately in last place but the standard was high i'm happy that we were in the 60s of the percentages so we're just gonna live with it and we're gonna go into our show jumping and try and go clear so yeah excited all right rockstar ready for some show jumping clear round vibes clear round vibes Thank you. All right, Rocky, it's time to go home. Well done, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, gorgeous. All right, load up and head home. Hello, 
so we're on our way home now. Andy is very kindly driving because we want to pick up a new horse. Picking up a new horse. Yeah, so Andy has found a horse, a thoroughbred, an off-the-track thoroughbred. Um, Four-year-old bay gelding, last race a couple of weeks ago, just too slow. Sounds perfect. Still in uh, by reward for effort. By reward for effort. So that's where we're going now. Um, and it's only 15, 20 minutes away from the show, so it's actually just perfect. Um, but yeah, Rocky was super. After dressage, we were in 12th. And then after show jumping, we went up to 9th because there was a lot of horses stopping and getting eliminated because it was quite a spooky course. But Rocky, no problem. He was super rideable. There was like, oh yeah, I feel like it was a lot smoother than any other round. I think it's probably one of his best rounds. I think he was just quite unlucky. We were just a little bit unlucky. We just touched a couple of balls. The first two fences, he just touched them. No real reason. The third fence he knocked, he was coming in nicely. I don't know if he just like felt something in his mouth. He just did a very strange kind of reaction. Um, I don't know what that was about, but anyway, we move and yeah, he jumped really well. There was nice spooky fillers, lots of related lines, and he was just so calm and really rideable. So I was very, very happy with him. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna go and look at this horse now. I'm gonna give it a quick vet check <laughs> on the house. <laughs> and um, yeah, <laughs> I'll uh, catch up with you guys when we get home with two horses. So exciting. We're home now. Unfortunately, Andy's new horse kind of beat Rocky up a little bit in the float, which is very upsetting. We could hear them, so we pulled over and we saw that he had bitten him. So we tied them up real tight so that Rocky was safe for the rest of the drive. But he is no worse for wear and I'm going to give him some feed now and then pop him out in the field because he is done for the day. So yes, very, very pleased with him. Um, some of the show jumping was very nice, so I have a lot of hope for the future with this boy. Yeah. Mind the great, good boy. Um, so our next show is in two weeks time. Come on. And it is a pure show jumping show, and it's in Bendigo, so it's very um, close to home. And, um, and he's jumping the 95 and the one meter five. Uh, that'll be his biggest show jumping he's ever done. So, fingers crossed all goes well, but we have two weeks to prepare for it. In those two weeks, I'm going to do a lot of flat work. Now that he's a lot more relaxed, I think I'm going to try and work on doing a lot more long and low work and just build up the strength in his back. He's a little bit weak over his back. Um, but yeah, just keep doing the same. I'll show you a picture of Andy's new horse. That's it. Looking very fit. Good boy. So yes, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.